Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton, them two is like the Batman and Robin of just straight awesomeness. And we about to talk about that right now. The Neighbor, directed by Marcus Dunstan and Patrick, I mean, written by Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton. This movie is off the chain. I really enjoyed it. I never watched a movie where the tents be so high. The energy is just so brilliant. The director, the director, the way he shot the movie was brilliant. The way it was written, all the characters is likable. Even the bad guys is likable in this movie. The movie starts off with this woman driving in this um, beautiful muscle car, and she's on her way to um, what's John, John and Rosie house, and they get to this what like, it was like a bunker or something like that, a garage, like a garage, and she gets there and she's all bleeding at the stomach, so you can tell she clearly had an altercation with someone before she got to you know John and Rosie, and. So John, you know, help her try to help her get a get a wound straight and stuff like that. But when they open up the trunk, you saw like these bricks of cocaine and like all this money that was inside of the trunk because you know John works for his uncle, his uncle Neil. So he end up bringing the stuff to his uncle Neil. Now when John gets to uncle Neil, uncle Neil is straight boss man. Ain't no question about that. You know he's trying to school these other new guys. But you tell they like the new guys or whatever, and he says, "You see my nephew." My nephew works real hard, and I never have a problem out of him. He's all about his business. So the guy, before the guy could say anything, he hit the guy in his neck and then held the guy breath for a while, then let him go, and the man threw up. I fell to the damn floor. That was off the chain. So John gets back, and he's looking for Rosie. You know, he gets back to the house. He's looking for Rosie, but Rosie is nowhere around to be found. So he ends up, you know, because he have a, a sharp shooting, a sharp shooting neighbor named Troy. That lives right up the street from his house. So they're not that far from each other. So he asked Troy. He said, Troy, did you see my wife? Troy like, man, I tell you, them girls ain't nothing but trouble. <laughs> I told you, man, they the dangerous ones. So next thing you know, he's like, mm, okay. So he goes back to the house. Instead of that usual person will call the cops if their wife misses it. No. You know, John wasn't stupid. John knew that, John knew that his wife was in that man's house. Because he went home and he just sat there and just waited out. Wait to Troy left, went to the house. Next thing you know, he finds his wife in there, a couple other people that was in there. Because, you know, it turns out that Troy and his group of crazy people end up, you know, they hold people for ransom so they can get money for the people. So y'all know how the ransom situation go, but it's totally messed up. I mean, even people was on this thing that you at least expect, especially goddamn the officer, Officer Burns. Oh, she's off the chain. But before I get any further this movie, let's get this movie a rating, shall we? I give this movie two thumbs up and a big ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. Stuart and Alex Esso, man, they're like a power couple on this movie. Like, I've seen some movies where you see that one couple, but then usually, you know, the girl, the wife or whatever always end up being the damsel in distress. No, that's not the case. Uh, uh What's the name again? Uh, S Esso? Alex Esso? Man, she kicked, movie she kicked ass in this movie. She got her ass kicked. Then turned around and then kicked the guy. So she took an ass whipping and then gave an ass whipping. And the way she whooped ass, it's ridiculous. It's out of this world, man. This movie is really good. Y'all got to check this movie out. The the gunshots, when, when someone shoot a gun in this movie, you feel that. I, I'm i not lying to you. Like, when someone go, pew! I mean, if you even try to fall asleep in this movie, that ain't happening. That will definitely wake you back up. It will keep you in tune with the movie. But it's not a dull moment in this movie. When this movie, from the time this movie starts... From the beginning all the way straight through to the end, like I said, all the characters brilliant. Uh, Uncle Neil definitely had me rolling. This every time this man is on scene, he just makes me laugh, and it's not that he's trying to be funny. I like the part when they was outside, and they was they finally got free. So when they got outside, they was just having a shoot off, and Uncle Neil took a bullet. <laughs> the man took a bullet to the damn chest, and he still kept on shooting. And while he was in a car when they were shooting at him, because they ain't had nothing but just shotguns. You just hear shotguns going off left and right. The man's still talking shit. Y'all gotta see <laughs> Y'all gotta see this movie. This movie is off the chain. The tension is high. The action is everything. It was well written. It was well directed. I mean, everything about this movie, like I said, if I could take every bit of a hundred stars, because like I said, I, I I don't give every movie a high rating. But you know, 
a movie is real good. If I give a movie my highest rating and this movie is that good, you guys got to check this out, The Neighbor. Don't forget to check it out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about The Neighbor because I already told you what I thought about it. It got my highest rating. I highly recommend it. It gets my highest of all highest of praise, man. Check this movie out. Don't miss this movie. You can check it out on Amazon. You can rent it for like, what, $6.99? Mm hmm and buy it for like what? Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. That's not bad, guys. I mean, you get the bang for your buck. Movie good from beginning to the end, all the way through. And to all my movie lovers, I love you.